Do not leave your seat with the autopilot on. This is real, not in game. Do not go to the bathroom while using the autopilot. As we saw from that lovely notice there, yeah, we gotta be pretty careful while using autopilot in this game because uh, apparently it's pretty risky. As you can see, we've got a, a good selection of cars here going from Teslas, BMWs, Volvos, Broncos, or GMC, sorry. Um, Lexuses. Wow, okay, well, that is something. Nice reference there. Uh, so let's spawn in, let's just go with something more standard, I suppose. Tesla Model X, actually. There we go. Let's go and pop inside the car here. We've got the steering wheel that moves. That's pretty cool. Uh, we've got premium colors. We don't need those. All right. So for the moment, let's try out what we have for free. So this game is an autopilot game, and apparently it's pretty good. I've played this on my channel once before, so let's uh, give this another test with variety of updates. Uh, on the bottom of my screen, you can see... Uh, basically a surrounding of the Tesla. If someone gets out oops, or someone spawns a car on top of us, we may need to move actually. There we go, we spawned in another car and you can see the cars around us, which is pretty cool as well. So let's just navigate out of this parking lot with a lot of cars around us. All right, so this is how much it loads in of the map. What do we want here of software? We want owner's manual. No way, all right. Uh, driving, uh, regenerative braking. Oh, that's pretty cool. So when you break, it actually charges the battery. We've got acceleration mode. Uh, let's go to plaid. Before we turn on full self-driving, I'm, I'm thinking we actually go for a bit of a ride in this Tesla. We're riding at 173 miles an hour. Um, turning on this thing is not great at uh, high speeds, but let's try the braking on this thing. So three, two, one, brake. Oh, that came down quick. Um, so quickly that my game broke. What what happened there? Just a couple of Teslas in the field, I think. Oh no, the map hasn't loaded in. That's why. Right, let's make our way back to the city and try and stay on the highway here. I think I've missed my turn off, honestly. Where is this? EV station. Um, Yeah, that's kind of where we need to go. Right, let's uh, park up here. I think we can actually charge up our Tesla. There we go. Um, I think we're charging. Now, we can toggle our phone as well here. So we've got our Tesla there. Oh, it's pretty cool. They've got the dynamic uh, island from my, the iPhone. Anyways, we'll tap to unlock. We've got the Tesla app. So what can we do with the Tesla app here? So frequently asked, we can unlock or lock it. We can turn on the security alarm. Right, so that essentially just played some copyrighted rock music. <laughs> Who knows why? Now, the features on free can be pretty lackluster. So what we're going to do is we're going to purchase the full self-driving game pass. This gives us full self-driving, auto lane change, auto park, summon, intersection, automatic turning, and navigating on autopilot. And then it's got a pretty good likes dislike counter. We are back in game. It is raining. Let's try out some of these features, shall we? First off, actually, this car has the ability to auto park. So... Let's give this a shot, shall we? We'll go ahead and create this slightly smaller so we can see. All right, let's rate the parking, shall we? Reversing in. Uh, I will say that there's a very large gap here compared to here, but I mean, we're in the spot and we're relatively straight. So now that my car's parked up, I want to try out the uh, sentry mode, or not sentry, sorry, uh, summon. All right, so for example, we go and stand over here. I'm getting the, getting the hang of this. So we do forwards and it's it steers to you, essentially. So as you can see, if I run around, my car is going to very creepily follow me. And there you go, Tesla right to you. And it's, it doesn't hit you. Let's hop into the car, get out of this uh, pouring rain. And, oh, it's even got an on-screen display, which not many games have. Let's whip up the menu and we're going to navigate to the Supercharger dealership and already it seems we are going uh, i think it's a bit confused with these parking spots oh wow tesla where where are we going uh okay hopefully tesla is now going to realize that we're not on the road and recalibrate as you can see here it's we're not on the road we can't take control i can't take control we're gonna we're gonna collide so i'm so sorry my car is a mind of its own i think i'm in a foreign server i think so and my car's just been stolen all right <laughs> All right, we've got this back open. We're going to the dealership and we're in the lanes now. It's full self-driving lane changing. Put the menu on the side here so we can monitor our car's progress. And we are staying just under the speed limit, prevent any tickets. It's really nice that it has all the road layouts. We are coming up to the traffic lights. There we go, detect intersection, stopping. I mean, we could have stopped a bit later, but we have stopped for the lights regardless. So turned onto this road now and this again is 45 miles an hour. So staying under the limit. 
whilst uh, Taz is trying to stay on the road. With all this rain, I wouldn't be surprised if we're slipping around right now. But as you can see, the game does a really nice job at showcasing how real Tesla, not even, not only Tesla, but kind of autopilot on a lot of cars works. Where are we going, by the way? Because I see a car fire over there. We've also got music we can play. For copyright reasons, I will not, but that is a possibility if you want to chill and listen to music. But remember, as the game loading screen said, you cannot go to the toilet or leave your computer whilst on full self-driving. It's very, very dangerous in-game. The rain is probably a lot louder in the recording, but there is voiceovers um, basically telling you we're turning left, we're turning right, blah, blah. So we should now turn into the left lane. There we go. We've come to a near abrupt stop, but we're in the turning lane now, and we're going to run straight over. And as you can see again on the screen... Uh, oh, it's just <laughs> fully stopped. Okay, it's left of me in the middle of the road. But yeah, as you can see on the screen, we've got the other cars around. We've got other people as well there. Um, and now we can actually just auto park this thing up. We can then open up the rear doors or rear left and rear right. Beautiful. Right, there we go. Look at that. Amazing. Additionally, I did just realize you can buy things like auto lane change, auto park, auto turn and summon from the shop so if you play the game enough then you don't have to spend any robux i'm just thinking about how crazy it would be if games added autopilot and things like summon <laughs> we just had like cars driving around without anyone inside them of course some games like greenville already have a sort of autopilot system um but yeah still anyways uh what else have we got we've got a volvo i think this is an e40 or e60 something like that um, we can go inside and the only thing really different about all of these is the actual car model We also got cars like this. This is the new electric Hummer. We've got a Tesla quad bike. No way this thing has autopilot Okay, that that's pretty crazy. Okay. I'm gonna take a step back for this one I'm kind of curious to see how this car Performs on the road. Do we have autopilot for this thing? Yeah, I don't think autopilot works on this car unsurprisingly it's barely small enough to stay in the lanes and has the strangest driving. But I mean, it does work. You can sit inside this beast of a Tesla and uh, look around. We have the new electric Porsche Taycan, which is surprisingly slower than a family Tesla SUV. Thank you for watching this video where we check out our self-driving game on Roblox. Whilst there are issues, it is a lot of fun to try it out and autopilot and self-driving is very new as a whole and especially new on Roblox so it's pretty cool to see how this reacts to this all. If you did enjoy make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.